In Origin version 8.5.1, the Layer Contents dialog has been modified to make it easier to add and replace data in a graph. You can access the Layer Contents dialog from the Graph menu at Graph Layer Contents, or you can access it from the graph itself by right-clicking on the Layer icon and selecting Layer Contents. The right panel shows you the data set currently displayed in the plot, while the left panel of the dialog shows you the data sets that are available for plotting in the current subset of the project. In this case, I have worksheets and folders selected, but I can select from many other subsets in the drop-down list. Notice, too, that I may sort the available data by any of the columns shown in the left panel. In this case, I will sort by long name so that I can see comparable data sets next to one another by name. In this case, the emboldened data set is the one that I have plotted. And say I want to compare the other two position data sets with the one I have currently plotted. So I will use the right pointing arrow to move those data sets over. The A option for auto selects the same line type or plot type that the original data has. I can more explicitly choose the type by using the drop-down. I'll show that in just a moment. For now, let's click Apply so we can see those new data sets added to the plot. I brought those two data sets over together, and so they came in by default as a group. If I want to, say, group all of the data sets that are now plotted together as one group, I can ungroup the existing, then select all my data sets, and regroup. Clicking Apply shows that the new group's been applied, as you can see, because now the three plots have different colors. It is also easy to swap out groups of data. In most cases, you will want to rescale on application so that the new data, if it has a different Y range, will be immediately visible. In this case, I want to remove my data sets that I'm currently plotted, position, and I want to see what the delta temperature fields hold. In this case, I can move them over together. They come in automatically as a group, and I can click Apply to see the change. As I mentioned briefly, the new layer contents dialog makes it easy to add plots of different types into the same graph. To show this, I'll bring up layer contents again. In this case, I have a Gaussian curve plotted, and I want to see what the actual data might hold, and I want to see that as a bar chart. In this case, I can select the data that I want to add. Now go and select column bar as the plot type to add. Move the data set over and click Apply. Notice that the data has been added but unfortunately, my reference curve is now behind the data because by default the new data set comes in with the drawing order on top. This is easy to fix. The up and down arrows on the right part of the panel can be used to swap the drawing order of the data. Clicking Apply brings my reference curve now to the top. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.